Hello everyone. So welcome to this next experiment in which we will learn to make the contour map and find out the elevation of various places of a particular location, whichever you may select. So for that, we'll be downloading the data from G1. So we'll be downloading the raster file from G1. So we'll just log into G1. We already have made it our account in case you have not made it. You can go to the Bhavan, make your account there. So we'll wait for Bhavan to uh, be loaded. So as soon as uh, we get the Bhavan, go to the open data archives. Now in this, we will be selecting the uh, sensor as Cartosat 1 and the latest version 3R1 will be taking. So we want, suppose we want uh, Mumbai region. So it will search for Mumbai and give us a location where Mumbai is. So we'll just select the Mumbai and it is actually giving us the location of Mumbai where it is located. So what we will do is we will uh, download the tile which will actually be covering the area of Mumbai and Maharashtra basically. So we'll be taking this particular tile because we may get a better um, feel when we are using a contour rather than taking this area. So I'm just selecting a tile in Maharashtra. So for that, I'll go to the tiles, start, select this tile, stop, and I'll just go to the next and download it. Okay, so first I need to log in. So I'll just log in so that it will allow me to download the contents. So I already have a login. In case you don't have it, you can create a new user. And I'm just selecting this particular time because I want to have different elevations. So for that, I'll just click on start. And then I'll click on stop and move to. So it's selected, we'll go to the next. And this is the type, you can simply go and download it. So it will get downloaded in your downloads. So we'll go to our downloads and open this file in QGI. So our file is downloaded in our downloads. We can extract this file in the downloads folder. So I've already extracted, so I'll replace it. So that will be a new extracted and kept into the same folder. So I can now go and open the raster file from there in my QGIS window. So I'll go to the layers menu, add layer, add raster, and I'll open my DEM file. So we are now opening our TIFF file, the DEM file, and add and close. So this is the file we have taken. Now uh, one method of restricting to a particular area and finding an elevation is we have seen by use of the mask. That is extraction by the mask. There is another way of extraction is by the limit. So what we will do is now instead of taking the whole tile for contour plotting, we will be taking a small file of it by extraction by 
extent. So we'll clip this raster by the extent that will be defined. So it's already taken the input layer. So clip by the extent. So use map canvas extent or draw on the canvas. So I will prefer drawing it on the canvas. So I just try to take all the colors in it so that the contour is more meaningful. So I've just taken. So it's so much easier than the map one where we face certain problems. Uh, so it is no data that we are setting to. So no set data. Okay. Then uh, we want to add some uh, thing to our advanced parameters. So right now we don't want to do anything into it. We, if we want to add, we can add some thing to the attribute table and output layer. So that's the name, 16. And then where do you want to save it? So I want to save it to the file with the name. I can have a folder for it. Or right now I'll take a desktop with a clip by extent file and save it. And I open the file on run in it. So I just run it and close it. Now what I'll do is this, I'll just pick this and remove this. So you can see how I have changed the extent to which I want to draw the contours. I can actually uh, use the pseudo color or properties to change this uh, colors that we are using. And uh, we want invert color ram so classify apply and okay so this is how we can do or even as i had told earlier since we are looking at the height values we can even have a instead of linear we can have select discrete so it will be as per the altitude that it will be given the values and will be a distinct color that will be with so this is how we can make our map discrete. Now we want to add the contours. So again, we will go to the extract contours. So where do you want? Yes, we want it on the clip. So my color is gray if we want to. Or where we are, what interval? So we want a contour at every, say, 50 meters. We want to have a contour. And what attribute name you want to add is elevation that I want to add it. So no set values we are defining for it. And save the contours to say, save to a file by the name on the desktop, contour. So it's a uh, CSV file which will have an elevation table added to it. And just see your open output file after running. So our contour is there. I will just make one change and shape this contour file as an SHP file. By mistake, it was saved as CSV file. So I will just save it and run it. Yes, so now the contours are formed. I can just untick others and you can clearly see the contours being formed. So contours are nothing but the lines of equal uh, altitude are joined together. What we can do in this is analysis is we can just go to the attribute table. So this attribute table has an elevation. We can double click on it so that we can have the altitude from uh, highest to the lowest. That is what is there. And we can just click on this and ask it to zoom map to the selected in the row. So what it will do is, this particular area on the map will be zoomed in. So 
so what we have to do is now go to the contour as i had already told open this attribute table we need to uh, double click on this to arrange it from uh, highest altitude to the lowest once both the columns are selected you can go to the zoom to the selected row and just close it so you can see that particular thing is zoomed in you can just zoom out to see where is this location where you have the highest altitude in it you can even uh, add the name to this or you can add one layer and color it and find the area of highest elevation you can even uh, use this contour attribute table for giving the altitude to every uh, pattern uh, every line that you see by just going to the property labels you can say single label and give it the not the id but the elevation and press apply and okay so you can clearly see every so 1150 was the highest altitude and this is where it is located so we can find out the altitude of various locations we can if, if in this attribute table we add the places we can also have the height of various places and the uh, altitude together in this attribute table so this is how we can make the contour and can be helpful for our analysis when we are doing for a particular area so thank you